Hi, this is Rachit from Times of India. Hi, Rob. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? I'm great as well. Rob, let me just jump into the first question. Um, what compelled you to take this Stephen King short story and turn it into a big screen experience? Um, I remembered reading it as a kid and it really messed me up. And uh, I read it far too young, probably when I was about the same age, maybe a little older, but around the same age as, as uh, our youngest character in the movie. And I felt like if I could make audiences feel like I felt as a as a little kid being terrified in my bedroom of the the dark closet and what's under my bed, then that might be something worth doing. And doing it under the banner of a Stephen King title, uh, you know, doing the definitive take on the Boogeyman. There's been 600 Boogeyman movies made, but to to try and make a really iconic one felt like. You know, I felt like if we could pull that off, that'd be special. As a as a kid, Rob, uh, what spooked you more? Uh, was it the dark closet? Was it the unknown under the bed? Or was it the shady basement? <laughs> uh, probably under probably under my bed. Like I always felt like if if my arm or my leg was like off the bed, I always felt like something was going to grab it from underneath the bed. That was my biggest fear as a kid. If the blanket ever went off my foot and my foot was exposed to the room, that something was going to take me. Do you feel uh, there are two kinds of horror films, you know, one that spook you, one that scare you, and the ones that get inside your head. And while you were making The Boogeyman, did you sort of try to bring in the best of both worlds? And how far do you think you've succeeded? Yeah, I think you're, to I think you're totally right that you can have the best of both worlds. I know that a lot of people like to... Um, uh, you know, talk down on on jump scares and movies that make you, you know, throw your popcorn in the air. Um, and they like to kind of talk about them as though they can't be the same movies that stick with you afterwards and and play in your mind for, for days on end. But I think you can do both. I think it's about earning the audience's trust, making sure that there are characters you can invest in, making sure there's an idea, there's an idea that you're discussing in your movie and you're not just making loud noises at the audience but i love a great jump scare and i you know I, it was it was uh it was one of my favorite things coming up with some of the jump scares for this movie but i think hopefully we've got enough meat on the bone as well i'm asking to choose between two an intense graphic david cronenberg kind of film <laughs> or a fun spooky sam Raimi kind of film which one is your is your kind of genre i mean sam Raimi's is my guy like i grew up on Evil Dead. I mean, Sam Raimi kind of like started as more of a gore guy, but I, you know, I, I prefer his more slapstick stuff like Evil Dead too. I, I love both. I love all sorts of horror. The kind of stuff that I'm more drawn to is like building tension and suspense and, and uh, movies that can terrify audiences, but don't necessarily alienate too many people. I mean, I've done that before, but um, I think gore movies have such a limited audience. Um, this movie feels very intense and violent even though it's a, a pg-13 and that's kind of like the space i love to operate in cool thank you so much rob and best of luck for the film thank you appreciate it